you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection now if you look at the figure closely the first thing you do is for you to draw your isometric axis right how do i mean by the axis meaning you draw your x y and z axis which is in this form so I'll have this to be in this manner. Um, the Z in 30, at an angle of 30 degree. The X also at 30 degree. And what? And the Y. They are all at an angle of what? 30 degree. Because when you place your sesco in this manner, the angle here is what 30 degree. So now the total length is given to be 72, right? That means from here to here, it is the same from here to here, and that is 72. So I'm going to measure 72. So from zero here, can you see that? This is 7, 71, 72 here. Stopping here. And from here to here, it's giving us 100 and what? 104. So I'm measuring from this point 0 to 104. From 0 to 104. This 100, 104 is here. Right? 101, 102, 103, 104. <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> the entire height is given to be 48. So from here to here, 48. So I'll just measure 48. So, from this point, this is 45, 46, 47, this is 48 here. Is that the key? So, what you do, you need to get the entire length, entire width, and entire height. I make it form a box. So, making this form a box, I'll place it this way. I'll take this upward. I'll take this upward. Then what I did at the base here, I did at this highest point here. So when I draw the line at 30 degrees, it must touch the end of the line. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing from this point, touch the end of the line. Then I'll come here too, I'll do the same thing, draw a line. Where this line and uh, this line meets. That is where... The box ends. You can see that. So then we'll start drawing out our image. So from here to here is from here to here, and that is ticking. So I'm going to tick in the line here. You can see that. And from here, is that ticking? So once you've done that, we move forward. So from here to here is from here to here, and that's also what ticking. So I'm going to thicken it this way. Then the height from here to here is from here to here, and that is also what thickened. So I'm going to thicken it too. Right now, from here to here is from here to here, and that is also what thickened. So I'm going to thicken it also. Look at what I'm doing. Now the next thing is um from here to here is from here to here and that is also what ticking. So I'm going to thicken it also. You can see that. Now the thickness from here to here is 24, which is from here to somewhere around here. So I'm going to measure 24. So I measure 24 from zero. Is 20 24 is here, right? Which I am going to what thicken. Hope you can see that. And from here to here, it's from here to here. That's also what thicken. So I'm going to thicken it. You can see that. Then I'll bring this one down a little bit at this point down, faint line. Then at this point here, also down. Point line, right? So if from here to twenty-four, so I'll measure twenty-four here also. 
24 is here. You can see that. So I'm going to thicken it too because from here to here, it's from here to here, and it is thickened very visible. You can see that. Then from here to here, it's from here to somewhere around here, so it's thickened. I'm going to what? Thicken it too, right from this point straight down here. So thicken. Now, I'm going to bring it down to a little bit here, that line, and I'll bring it down with faint line, down here. So what I'll do is, I'll measure 16 downwards. I think from here to here 16, so I'll measure 16 downward. So from 0, this is 15, 16, you can see that. And I'll draw my line, since it is ticking, and I'll ticken it. From here to this point, and I'll bring it down to to this point. From here to to this point, that again, and I'll bring it out to faint line. And from here to here, twenty four, which is from it somewhere around here, that's twenty four too. So I'll measure twenty four here from zero. This is ten, twenty, twenty four, right? I will just bring it out to and close it up 24 and close it up to and close it up to now bring it down faint line and here down to faint line since from here to 16 here also is worth 16 so I'm going to measure 16 again. So from 0 to 16. Right? And I'll close it up. Since from here to here, it's from here to around here. So I'll draw my line to touch this point, which I'm going to take in here. You can see that? I'll come again, draw another line, but this line now is going to touch the last point here. You see? And I'll measure 24 again on that point. So if I do that from 0, automatically it is what? 24. Well, I'll just move from here to touch this line here. Right? And from here, to touch this line here then here also to touch this line here right and I'll close up here I see that and also I'll close up here so again so this is what we have here sometimes you might be shown 3 by 16 Meaning that these three points, one, two, three, they are what? 16. Right? Each of these points here. And the 3 times 16, the entire height will be what? 48. So it depends on how the question will come. So we have successfully reproduced the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. If you have found the video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.